Hello guys and welcome to another FUT player review. Today I'm reviewing it, Raphael, his second in-form card. Now we're going to start off with some stats of his. Now his pace has increased quite a lot cons um, compared to his normal card which is rated at 77 I believe. So his acceleration is 89 and 87 sprint speed and as he's quite small He's already got, you know, he's got the little legs, he's very quick along the floor, he's 5 foot 7, so he pretty much outpaces the majority of left backs and left mids, which is very, very handy because he can catch up with them as well. So we're going to top stats, we've got 94 stand and tackle, 80 slide tackle, 81 short passing, 88 mark and 82 dribbling, 84 curve, 80 crossing, 84 ball control, 87 agility, 89 balance, 86 reactions. 94 aggression and 83 interceptions. Now that is pretty damn decent for a overall 80 card. And as you're going to see from the gameplay footage, which is now playing, he does bombard forward and commands the attacks. He's always with the attacks, always in play. Not only that, he's strong, he's quick, and he can tackle very, very well. Now you're going to see a lot of crosses here. Now personally I think it's crossing absolutely superb. One of the best right backs I have actually used in FIFA 13 Ultimate Team. And you know he, he could be classed as one of the overpowered. He's overpowered players. He's got 3 star skill moves and 4 star weak foot. So he can hit the ball with both his right and left foot. And not only that he's got a little bit of skill to go with his pace as well. Obviously, as a right back, you want someone that's quite strong, good header of the ball, but you want some pace as well to catch up with the fast wingers that come up against you. Now, he's definitely got that. So, not only that, he's brilliant. His defending stats are brilliant. In-game and um, during the season, he's had a brilliant, brilliant season. I am a United fan myself, and I noticed that Raphael has matured a hell of a lot. His game has got a lot better. He can shoot, he can cross, he can cross pretty much any time and it'll be accurate and it'll go to United player. He's got good dribbling and his pace is improved a hell of a lot. Now being that, that's why he's deserved and that's why he's got his second in form. And I personally believe he is definitely worth having. As you can see there, a bit of skill in the box and a penalty. I go on to score that penalty. Now obviously as a right back you do want someone to defend as well and then with his 94 stand and tackle and 80 slide tackle which is pretty damn good for a right back he certainly can do that using his strength which is only 70 he def he outmuscles the majority of players now price as you can see it's 50 to 60k if you want this second in form Raphael which considering him being quite overpowered being Brazilian and it is his second in form playing for United. Now, that is pretty damn cheap. I would definitely recommend for you guys to get him for your BPL teams, Brazilian teams, whatever, United teams. He is definitely worth trying out. I personally love him. Although, the reason why I've only given him a 9 out of 10 rather than 10 out of 10, he just uh, sort of attacks too much. Now he, as I said, he controls the game with his forward runs and his crossing abilities, but I do often find that he's not normally in the position where I want him to be, and a lot of the times there's been counter-attacks and he's still next to the goal, you know. That's, that's the only reason why, apart from that he is absolutely brilliant, and I would definitely recommend getting this player to anyone who wants a decent right back in, as I said, Prem or Brazilian team. He is definitely worth getting. Now I paid about 51k and sold him for 53. Obviously, he can only be a right back or a right wing back. As a right wing back, he is a little bit cheaper. And obviously, depending on the formation, like 4-1-2-1-2, 4-4-1-1, 3-5-2, etc. etc. He will cost at diff you know differently. 4-1-2-1-2 probably gonna cost cost you the most. But I would definitely recommend getting him. So that's the end of the review, guys. I hope you have enjoyed this second Inform Raphael review. And I hope you've enjoyed the gameplay. Until then.
take care guys